Looky here. Do you want to be on video or not? Yes. Well, you're on video right now. Huh? Yeah, we're on video. The famous oh. Oh. Grandpa Loud and oh. Proud. Hello, hello. How there you he doing? is. The man, the myth, the legend. So, what's your first thoughts on this truck? Tell them what you think about the Chevy. It's a good looking truck. It's a good looking truck. I lifted the hood and I'm not a mechanic, but I can see that you would need a good mechanic to work on the <laughs> engine. Pretty much room in the Yeah. Under the hood. Yeah, he, he's used to looking at the three eighteens and the what is this a three what is this? I can't even remember. So anyways, these are very, 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 very simple. But anyway, so we're gonna do a little bit of like a reaction video to kind of like launching this truck a zero to 60 um, just some very simple driving out here on these backcountry roads there's really really no traffic to speak of and this is also this is the truck that I bought him a handful of months back how are you liking the truck so far so far you can't beat it so far so good and now also this may or may not be the first day to be able to enter to win this truck how much better does this truck look for $15 looks pretty good <laughs> exactly it's a really really nice truck to be able to win it for 15 bucks so go down into the link in the, in the description if the giveaway is live make sure you pay attention pay attention to the date if it is february 22nd the giveaway is live so keep that in mind i'm not sure when this video is going to go up i know I'm, when i'm filming it but just keep in mind it could be live you could be winning this truck it ends march 26th so we're going to get into the truck here get it pulled out of the mud here and uh get to rolling down the road I think it's gonna, it's gonna be a pretty fun little ride. There's the old 1500 second gen. That truck is actually really, really, really clean on the frame and the interior is really nice. Sure these kids are out of the way. pickup truck suspension setup it's pretty it's pretty soft mm -hmm. now he's pretty much always driven a pickup truck right yeah most of his whole life he's driven a pickup truck as long as I can remember some of these people go flying through these roads Would you ever buy a Chevy? Oh yeah, I probably would. Yeah. As long as I had a mechanic go with it. <laughs> this guy worked at GM for how many years you work at GM? 20 years? 22 years. For 22 years he worked at GM. <clears throat> and he only he only buys Mopar vehicles. <laughs> now here, here's what we're gonna do. That guy there's building my house there. Are you ready? Yeah, them guys, somebody out there. Oh yeah. yeah. 60. It was, it was roasting the tires back there a little bit. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it was leaving some pretty dark long marks. Buy a new set of tires. Yeah, that's why you run cheap tires on a truck that you're gonna do that on. These tires are fairly yeah, I cheap. I think it would beat the Dodge in a race. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty quick. This thing is pretty quick. When you start from a stop, it grabs in those lower gears and just yeah. pulls it. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again, going this way. <coughs> Let's just go to like that second post there, or just until I hit 60, which will probably be pretty quick.
put this in a racetrack. I know, that's what I said. I said, this is almost like racetrack status for a, like a factory pickup truck with just a tuner on it and some street tires. It's quick. It is really quick. I'm just used to driving those slow Dodge trucks now, though, you know? So what's your first reaction to the truck and the power that it has? Amazing for a pickup. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? It's a factory pickup with just a tuner on it, and that's it. So no, it's not, it doesn't have a bunch of crazy modifications done to it yet. Nothing, nothing fancy. That's even more impressive. That, I think it's pretty impressive. Now, if you had to pick between this truck and your Dodge to race down the road, which one would you pick? You mean if I wanted to win? Or if you wanted, wanted to win. win. If I wanted to win. If you wanted to win. Well, I wouldn't have a choice. <laughs> You'd pick this one? Yeah, I'd, say, I'd say so too. That sets you back in your seat. I know. And that wasn't even a really fast pull. It like from a stop, it just pulls. It pulls really hard. That's probably all we should do before we get ourselves in trouble here. Yeah, so far we've done okay. Burn about a quarter tank of fuel and melted the tires a little bit. Or 2,000 miles off the tires. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, literally. That's literally what you do when you do that kind of stuff all the time. Well, my video got cut off there when I was talking to you guys, but I was saying um, you guys could literally win this truck for literally $15, okay? So the giveaway for this thing is either live or it's going to be live in like a day. So just look at your calendars, check your watches. Um, just make sure you see what time of day it is and make sure uh, you know what date it is and if it is you know a minute past 12 a.m. you know 12.01 on uh, February 22nd the giveaway for this truck is live so just keep that in mind and don't forget to enter because this is a freaking awesome truck it's it's a 2008 LMM Duramax 150,000 miles on it the truck's going to be getting some work done to it here soon. Um, but, I mean, just the way that it sits, it runs really, really good. I mean, it is just a fast, quick, soft riding truck. I mean, it just it just rides really, really nice. Um, and I was talking to the giveaway winner, the guy who won the OBS, and we're thinking about doing, um, just because he gave his opinion on it, and I've been reading a lot of comments, everybody's saying stick to, like, 33s, don't go giant. You just can't beat the look. And he, he made a really valid point, and this is a point that really stood out to me. He's like, the nice thing about a truck that's just leveled on like 33s, he's like, there's always lots of work you could do. It's not too far built or too far gone to where you wouldn't want to like down build the truck. He's like, if you were going to keep it and not sell it, uh, maybe you don't need the money, you just want to drive the truck. He's like, the nice thing about a leveled truck is it's not overdone to where if you wanted to lift it, you wanted to put bigger tires, you want to go bigger wheels, you can still do that. You don't have to de-build the truck. You can just keep building it up from there. So I think that that was a really valid point and it made a lot of sense and it really connected with me to where I'm like, that's actually a really good point for a truck like this. That would be a, it'd probably be a really good place to go. So now I don't know if we're gonna do leveled or a four inch lift, um, but if I did do leveled, even though it looks pretty good the way that it sits now, um, but if I did do leveled, I don't know what tire setup I could use because I don't think it could still clear really anything bigger than this unless I went with less stance, which honestly, even a 12 wide isn't really hardly any stance on a Chevy. Um, a 12 wide gives you about maybe two inches of tire poke tops. But I mean, still a really, really good look on this truck because it's just enough to let it let you know that a little bit of an aftermarket touch to it, but it's just nothing crazy, you know, like a 14 wide, which... I probably won't do um, on this truck just because that's kind of a lot, not to mention I doubt a 14 wide on any kind of a lift would really clear that well on this particular truck unless you want really high and really small tires. Then you might be fine. It's not built yet and I haven't ordered the parts yet, but I want to do that very soon. So let me know down in the comments below what you want to see done. Just a leveling kit and pretty much have the same size tire but go with an all-terrain instead of this tire and what color wheel do you want black and two-tone like that do you want all chrome do you want all black flat black gloss black um, if you were gonna enter to win this truck which you probably should and if you're gonna daily drive this what color what setup what wheel diameter um, tire size are probably gonna stick around 
the size that it is, which is a 31 to a 33, give or take. Just depends on what we do. If we go leveled, really can't do anything more than that because that's a street tire. But if we did that same size tire, but with an all-terrain or even a mud tire, um, that's probably about all we're going to be able to clear still, even if it's leveled, if we're going to stay with a 12 wide. The only way that we could go with like a 33 is if we did like a 4-inch lift. Um, which still is not going to look that high in a truck like this because the Duramax as they sit kind of low as it is This truck's just you know stock suspension on 20 by 12s But I mean even a four inch lift is not going to look that big and it's not going to really do anything crazy to the truck It's just going to be so you can clear 33 without any rubbing issues But anyways, let me know down in the comment section below leave your fat thumbs up on this video if you have not Done so which you probably haven't if you're seeing this video don't forget to enter the giveaway if it is live Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.